after experiencing youth homelessness firsthand and eventually rising above it, Joe Roberts decided to push for change. The self-described least likely candidate to walk across Canada crossed the Burgoyne Bridge on day 185 in his mission to end youth homelessness. Uh, it's been going incredibly well. The, the push for change is really about engaging the country in a conversation on what we need to do to prevent, reduce and end youth homelessness. Walking across Canada pushing a symbol of homelessness so that young people don't experience homelessness is really behind uh, our national campaign and so it's exciting to be here in St. Catharines. Joe's walk and subsequent speech was organized by the raft who has been working with at-risk youth since 1994. And I think Joe was able to to really see how had that prevention been around when he was going through it he was going through that 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 might have been able to change uh, that course for him that he wouldn't have had to suffer so long before uh, he was able to to move forward so so I think we had a part of that dialogue uh, and that was a great part. It was, it was a, one of those serendipitous moments uh, where we were at the right table at the right time and I think we were able to, to help with some message. So, Where do you see this going in the future? Yeah, well, I, I mean, ideally, I'd really like it if other communities in Canada started adopting prevention in a real way. Uh, and started really understanding how the school system and education is really the way we're going to end youth homelessness. Joe would like the strategies used by the RAF to be adopted across the nation. And here in the Niagara region, um, you really do lead the country in a number of ways on how you've taken an innovative approach of prevention, getting into, into the schools and supporting young people in their communities. When you look, take a look at what the RAF has done, in, uh, in, in reducing uh, young people's experiencing street involvement, it's, it's very encouraging. It's that model that we want to take and replicate across the country. So, Being from Niagara and doing this kind of work and then having that work become a model and then being able to go out into conferences in Canada and speak to other communities and point to Niagara as the way forward, it's pretty cool. Take off your mask of fear and push for change. When we begin to move away from the judgment and take a look at what those root causes are, we can invest in those root causes and give people the supports they need to move forward. And it's absolutely about having that conversation and, and talking about it. And I think that there's a number of really great campaigns that happen um, throughout the, the country that have been drawing the light to the issues of, of mental health and addictions. And yeah. How do, how do you think of that moniker of being named Skid Row CD, CEO? Um, you know, I didn't like it at first. It was actually, um, it wasn't myself that gave me the, the title Skid Row CEO. It's, it's, it's what they called me in the, in the province newspaper in Vancouver when I won the Courage to Come Back Award. And what I do like about it is in one sentence it explains what transformation looks like that yes, he was homeless and destitute, and then he became a successful entrepreneur. In that sense, I, I do like it because it captures the essence of something in, in a few words. I don't know if I, I really like to lead with it, but it, uh, it does, it does kind of capture that piece, so we use it. Joe continues to spread his message across the region for the next few days. Log on to thepushforchange.com for dates, times, and locations. In St. Catharines for The Source, I'm Kendra Dyer.